I'm here to talk about good things. Well, everybody is trying to do good things. Good things have caused so much pain and suffering and death. A good religious theologian wants to do very good things. Good things for his beliefs of his theology. A good politician wants to do good things, good things that they themselves think is beneficial. A good banker wants to make sure that you get the best interest out of your investments. A good businessman is also looking to make good investment for good return for his stomach and for his family's stomach. Never mind about the goodness. The goodness is what and where we are today with everybody's life at risk, everybody's life at stake the planet's health and well of the planet is at risk. The very air is polluted because of good things have been done on this planet. The oceans are polluted. There's no more arable organic land left. Poison sprayed with insecticide, pesticide, petrochemicals, oil spills. A good British wants to have a fight with a good French. A good Indian wants to have a fight with a good Pakistani. A good African wants to have a fight with a good Middle Eastern. A good Asian wants to have a fight with a good South American, a good American would like to have a fight with just about anyone that comes in their way because their goodness is what is causing a tremendous harm and tremendous hardship and pain to millions and millions of innocent human beings on this planet. Not just that, in the name of good, how much sacrifices has been made by the religious dogmas and religious ideas and beliefs that are brought upon in front of our lives, innocent lives, a human centric goodness is no longer viable for our survival. Human, human species, their goodness is only beneficial to their own interest, be it a birthday party, be it a cocktail party, be it a lockdown party, be it a, a garden party during lockdown or with no lockdown. The interest is self-interest. It's not for the benefit of all, not for the benefit of the other. It is to benefit oneself. This is the main interest of your goodness that you have built up in your life. It is time. It's not the goodness that is required. Only because human beings are not living according to the human values of nature, they have to think of good things. All these good things have become unbearable for so many people, so many species for the planet, unbearable for the people and other creatures in the planet has been sacrificed. Planet has paid 
other creatures and all other life has paid an enormous price. This is not about you doing good things. Get it in your head. If you are humanity flowers, what is needed will naturally happen, naturally flower, naturally will come out of you. When a flower blossoms, you don't have to tell to shoot fragrance in the air. There to blow it will anyway happen if you're there or not. <laughs> if you're close to the flower or not, the fragrance will keep blowing in the gentleness of the air, the nature. you understood what I have said or it is illogical to what you understand as what is good and what is bad a good you naturally have to compare with something else around you right whatever you do you compare that to somebody else's work and you think your work is much better much good for the other it seems your good work has got you into trouble. There are investigations in your political spectrum. There are investigations in your religious <laughs> camps. There are investigations for everything because we are all good. We are all good looking to do good. All you need to do is open up your humanity and embrace life, what needs to be done will naturally happen out of, as a consequence of you being not good, you being pleasant and willing to see others blossom, see others flower, others thrive in life. Whatever you do with these two hands, and that thought that comes into your mind should work for the well-being and the health of this planet and every life that you touch. It's not good that you need to develop. It is the human nature to willing to do something that flowers, the need to, to blossoming will naturally happen. Just imagine. A tree is not thinking of giving you oxygen. The earthworm is not thinking of the earth fertility or fertile earth for you to plant your crops and such intentions are not in his mind. Or does he have a head? But whatever they do, they're doing good things for the planet and for themselves. If they eat, they're doing good things. If they shed, they're doing good things. Just being themselves, they're living according to their nature. They don't need, or they don't need to be reminded, or they don't have to think of doing good things. It's only the humans that needs to be reminded and taught through, shaped through, educated through to do good things because the human beings are not living according to the human nature. They have to think of good things. The good things have caused a tremendous pain and suffering and destruction and death to every living organism on this planet because we have not organized ourselves as human beings to be human. <laughs> don't do good things. Please don't do good things. Your goodness has caused endless suffering on this earth.